Hey everyone, so this is my uni flats realm that we've been playing over the last couple months and I'm worried that it's going to get deleted at some point just because, you know, we're uni students, money is a bit tight and an extra five quid a month um, unfortunately is not in everyone's budget so today I just wanted to show off uh, my little house and my section of the realm where I've been playing for the last couple months so this has probably been like the most fun I've had in a Minecraft world in so long and I'm pretty sure it's pretty evident like in just like seeing how much shit I put in this world I usually when I play survival Minecraft I build a nice house and then I leave it but for some reason this time I was able to do some really like cool extra things that I never really usually do so first of all I bought these little stables and there's my big old house which took a long time to build I'll show you the inside in a moment um but I added some other things, like there's a little ship and a little dockyard. I don't know what it was about this world, but there was something in the air and like, I found this cute little coastal spot and I just, my creativity, it just blossomed, love, it just absolutely blossomed. And I was just building and building and building. And now this shit took so much time. Oh my God, everything I had to gather in survival. You can see my diamond tools down the bottom. They're like struggling for dear fucking life. Oh my God. But um, it was so fun. This has been such a fun world. and. I'm making this video just because if it does die and like we can't recover the world or whatever then I want to like immortalize it on my YouTube channel um, and just keep it up there and here's a little view of it coming in from the coast oh my god oh imagine the roleplay in this world like oh, just coming from my faraway land to give my um spices and do my trades to this like beautiful cottage oh my god like could you imagine oh my god everything is so right here like i'm really feeling some stampy cat adventure map vibes like i remember watching them as a kid like storm water and stuff like that and it was seriously the best <laughs> way to waste all my time as a child no playing outside for this girl she was on her bed on her kindle fire and she was watching minecraft videos it was literally the time of my life and i'm so sad hearing about stampy worlds Sampy's lovely world, like, closing down now, but honestly, he'd been fucking grinding on that shit, so I do not, that sounds bad, but he'd been grinding out videos on that world, so I don't blame him for, like, you know, saying goodbye and moving on, because, girl, that shit was going on for so long, 800 and something episodes, I thought he was going to hit a thousand and quit, to be honest, but, um, I don't blame him for quitting sooner, I could not, I don't think I could ever deal with that something like that for that long oh my god i mean i made enough yandere simulator videos back in the day and that tired me the fuck out and i only made like a hundred of them but anyway let's get on to the inside of my little home oh my god i'm so excited here is the beautiful little entryway this is on the market for a cheeky little 1.5 million and we have the armory room here that i made i literally had no idea what to put in this room so i just put some armor stands and you'll see later but the way i get my armor for most of these ones is either i wear it out and then i put it on the rack when it's on like red health or i get it from zombies so like my cheeky little leather armor is all from zombies that i've killed and then if they drop the armor then i pop it on the little mannequin so i don't have to kill any cows to make it because i've got to kill them for bookshelves instead but here's my kitchen it's very cute i stole the little oven bit from pinterest i like googled it and i was like oh let me grab that but the house i actually made out of my own brain like guys i'm actually so proud of my goopy little fat lump in my head because how did i pull this like off i'm sorry but this is the nicest house i've ever made i don't care what you say it's beautiful i'm so proud of her i literally made her from thin air i just like built her up originally this whole place was an open concept like i hadn't no oh that's so fancy but <laughs> i had no walls i had no nothing um it was just like a huge hall but then i decided i wanted like more space i wanted a place to put my bed because my bed was downstairs with like my furnaces and stuff and i just didn't like it that's my guest room there and then this is my little bedroom um i don't know why i made it blue because green's my favorite color but blue works i think it looks kind of bougie actually to be honest like with the spruce wood Ooh, okay here's my music disc i've only got two because i can't be asked to fucking find them all uh there's a big chimney that i made that is probably the my i don't know i'm happy with how it turned out but i really struggled with getting it to look nice because i just didn't know what to do with it like it was such like a big thing and there was that huge window but i decided to say fuck it and just put it there anyway and block half the window i don't really care it works it looks kind of cottagey and vibey so i like it anywho we have now the little outside garden the little conservatory i think 
feel like maybe it's kind of like a gazebo as well. But um, this overlooks the big wheat field. This was something I wanted to do from the start, like have a big fuck off wheat field outside just to really like decorate the area and make it look like a farmhouse. I wanted to like be like the, the baker in this world and like pretend that I sold food to everyone when I absolutely do not. Um, but here's my enchantment room. This is where all the leather went from my cows outside. Sorry, rest in peace. But um, I've got to enchant my tools, so it has to be done. Uh, here is my storage rooms. As you can see, you get so much shit in the survival world. I mean, you'll see where all that stone come from in a minute, like when I go downstairs again. Oh, yep, yeah, I just spoiled the little secret. But uh, anyway, look at all my diamonds, guys. I'm actually rich. Uh, over here, we have my little smelting area. Got my blast furnaces, got my regular furnaces. And then I was looking at this anvil because I just installed shaders and I was like, why is it? It looks like it's enchanted. It's like goopy. I don't know. It looks like it's wet. It's kind of scary. But anyway, here's my furnaces, as I was saying. And then, oh, secret downstairs bit that I teased. And then we slide down into my farms. So this is where I do, I just started building it. So as you can see, it's not finished. Like this half is like not finished. And actually it looks so much smaller than I thought it was. I thought it was so big, but it's actually tiny. But here's my bamboo farm, which is like a quick source of fuel. So I collect all the bamboo and then I turn it into bamboo blocks and then I put it in the furnaces. Cause she's a renewable girl, okay? She is renewable and clean energy. Say goodbye to coal in 2024, girl. Um, then we have my sugarcane farm because I didn't want to put it all around the coast in the view. So I have this little automatic one. I think I'm going to build another one though because it's not like making enough, like it's too slow. But I don't really know when I need that much sugar cane. But anyway, here's my little lava collector, infinite lava supply. It's absolutely bloody gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, she's so sweet. Over here we have the newest farm that I've built, which is the dried kelp farm. So it sort of grows and it gets fired out and carried into the water and then a minecart picks it up underneath pops into these hoppers and then it cooks in a furnace and then you get the dried kelp below isn't that just so bougie and then along here i actually dug a tunnel into a ravine that i had been exploring um so i'm gonna look oh clutch so slow but anyway uh oh just wait a second just wait a second <laughs> i didn't see the hole <laughs> oh my god but anyway uh yeah uh, that was upsetting but um We'll get back to it in a second, uh, which is the mine shaft, which is basically where I got everything from this thing. I got really lucky with this, like, place I found. Spawn is really far... Oh, that actually upset me again. I can't believe I did that. But anyway, um, this is quite far away from Spawn. Uh, I'll show you where Spawn kind of is later, um, when I tour some of my friends' houses in this world. But um, this is the big mine right next to my house, and look at it, it's like a fucking cavern. There's so many diamonds I found in here. All those diamonds came from this cave that I showed you earlier. All my iron and gold as well. Oh, this really just set me up. I got all my red stuff from here as well. I love the caving update so much. Like, at first, I was terrified because it's such a big open space, and there's so many mobs that spawn. But now that I actually got a fucking grip and played it properly, it is so much fun. I love it. And look at me. Oh my god, I'm about to be a pro player and take out this freaking zombie. Oh, slay. Watch out, girl. Watch the fuck out. You don't know what my diamond axe can do. And oh, look at this sick jump. I'm really making up for that embarrassing death earlier. But uh, we do not talk about that. Oh, I forgot to mention as well. The reason why I didn't drop all my stuff is because we have keep inventory on because ain't nobody got time to deal with their stuff. I can't be dealing with that. And I'm so glad because it actually made me explore more because I knew if I was going to die, then I wasn't going to lose all my diamond tools and all my enchantments and all my levels because, oh God, it's absolutely so annoying. But uh, here we go. Here is me heading towards one of my friend's houses. This is one of my best friend Anastasia's little house. Uh, she only just joined, so she's literally got like a circle on the floor, but it is one of the cutest little things I've ever seen. And I can't wait for her, oh my God, I can't wait for her to play it again so she can finish it. But um, as you can see, I just get ambushed by these baby zombies. And then I was like, oh my God, not one of these things. I thought I could run away from it. But then another one comes out in fucking leather armor. Like get away, you little creeps. And I, I totally heroically run away into this leather portal right now. And I was literally like, get me out of here, get me out of here. But then they fucking follow me. And I was like, no. And I was like half dead already in diamond armor. Like, why are they killing me so well? Um, but I ran away. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. And then I headed into the nether portal and I went to one of my friend's houses. This is the owner of the server's house. It's like him and another player and they just live in this giant cave. And I was like, all right, you know what? You can tell it's a straight guy's house. Like it's literally just like, <laughs> it's just like a giant mess of shit. But you know what? It works, it's functional. So I support the, I support the grind. Um, but thank you. Here we go. Look, they came to the house as well. They actually followed me. 
Oh, it's so scary. I hate baby zombies so much because their heads are so small and they're so creepy. I just hate them so much. But as you can see here, got my little leather piece of armor and you know where that's going to go, bitch. That's going on straight on my little display. We are back home. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh, you can't see it because I opened the menu. Anyway, look at it. It's so beautiful at night. Oh my god. Wow. I never knew shaders were this good. This is the first time I've been trying shaders. And I was like, I don't think my PC could run them, but it's doing it like a champ. I mean, it did sound like it was an airplane taking off, but that's fine. Uh, and there you go. Look. Oh, one step closer to the complete collection. Absolutely bloody gorgeous, isn't it? Just a bloody spice of life, isn't it? And now I'm going to head to bed in my little three bed because I accidentally made the house odd instead of even. So I had to put three beds instead of two, which really annoys me. But you know what? It's fine. I don't even look at it. That's how you know I didn't plan when I built this house. I just did not account for any numbers at all. And then we have the kitchen with the sun coming through the window. So gorgeous. And then now I'm heading out back to the boat, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. And that's where I'm really going to sign off this little video because that's everything I built in this world. I had this big plan to make a windmill to so sort of act as like a wheat refinery for the, all the wheat fields and stuff. But um, I haven't really built that yet. Maybe I'll do a follow up video in the future showing off the little windmill. But for now, this is just what I've made. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I'm sorry I've been gone for a few months. Um, but literally, I have been struggling at uni. This has been my life. And um, I hope you enjoyed seeing it all. So thanks for watching. Bye.